Okay, grill's ready. Who wants a burger? I do. <sighs> Make it a double. After all, I am eating for two. Why is me maid here? Oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm sure she's not going to be mean to anyone today. Well, you're supposed to be on bed rest. I, I don't mean to crash your family picnic. I, I just, I, I had to do something. I was losing my mind in that tiny airless apartment. What about the baby? Well, the baby is why I'm here. I mean, it's the 4th of July, Patrick, and everyone else is celebrating their independence. Why shouldn't the baby and I celebrate, too? All right, I want you guys to... Bert, you're not supposed to be up and about. What about the baby? And like you just said, you're kind of crashing our party here, and to be honest, you're making Emma uncomfortable. Let me make it up to Emma, This is not please. the time or place for that. I won't even look at her. I, I, won't, I won't go near her. But... For God's sakes, Patrick, it's it's a family holiday. Yeah. I, my parents live in Europe. I, I don't have anyone to spend this day with or anywhere to go. You're on bed rest. You're not supposed to go anywhere. But I'm already here. Look, I know I'm not family. But our baby is. Okay. I get it. I get it. You want me to leave? I'll leave. Britt. If you're here and you feel okay to be here, then the least we can do is feed you. Come on. Have a seat. Hi, baby. Dr. Westbourne, is it? Oh, please, call me Brett. I'm Felicia. Hey. We haven't officially met, but you used to be my daughter's OBGYN, Maxie Jones. Oh, you're Maxie's mom. Yep, I sure am. <sighs> Okay, another minute, and I'm gonna cook the hoof off that burger. Mac, have you met Britt? Yeah, when you and Patrick were on your first date at the Floating Rib. Yes, yes, he was um, mortified that he had taken me there. Why would that mortify him? Uh, oh, nothing to do with the Floating Rib. It was just, he, he didn't know that I was a vegetarian. Clearly, he got to know you better. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps that's why the two of you broke up. Daddy, why is me and Lady at a picnic? Because it's 4th of July and she was all on her own. And we are all so lucky to have each other here. And you know what? She's having a difficult pregnancy, so I thought that maybe we could share our day with her and that it's a good way for us to keep an eye on the baby. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I wouldn't want to be trapped in my apartment on 4th of July either. No. Can't believe I'm actually saying this, but Britta even managed to make me feel sorry for her. Baby Ariel doesn't feel sorry for her. She's scared. Well, I promise you, all right? Britt is not going to do anything to you or crying baby Ariel. That's right. Everything's <laughs> going to be just fine. <laughs> One juicy burger with uh, all the works. Thank you. <sighs> Perhaps you're no longer a vegetarian. Oh, no. I still don't eat meat. But... Our baby, on the other hand, does. <laughs> I think he or she gets that from his or her daddy. See, it's... Hey, remember what we talked about before? How we both needed to be big girls about Brit? Because she's having a baby, and that baby's a part of your daddy. And we both love daddy. <laughs> That's right. Doesn't uh, Brit look lonely over there? Why don't we go show her little baby Ariel? We have to. No, we don't have to, but it would be a really nice thing to do, don't you think? You don't have to worry. I'll be right there with you. And I'm sure Britt would probably enjoy seeing a baby doll that can do everything that a real baby does. Mm -hmm. Come on. Hello, Emma. <laughs> Sabrina. Hi, Britt. So nice of you to join us. Right, Emma? Do you want to see my doll? I named her Ariel. Wow, that's a pretty name for a pretty doll. She's just like a real baby. She cries, she laughs, she drinks. Uh, Do you want to hold her? You could practice being a mommy. Um, sure, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll hold her. See, she even tinkles. <laughs> oh, oh my God, she's wet. Oh. Oh, oh my God, Matt, I, I'm gonna call 
Maternal with Patrick's baby. Oh, man, I'm never gonna be able to remove all this melted baby doll flesh. Baby Ariel's definitely gonna go to heaven. How do you know? Well, because she was a good girl. And heaven is where good people go. But she died surrounded by flames. All the more reason. <clears throat> um, Patrick? Listen, I, I am so sorry that I just, I threw that doll like that. I guess I didn't expect it to be wet. I mean, if, maybe if I would have known before Emma brought it to me, I, um, anyways, I really didn't mean to ruin everyone's holiday. It's okay, we're dealing with it. Oh, God, what is that? I think it's baby Ariel's left leg. How could baby Ariel go to heaven without her left leg? That's, that's okay. Emma, don't worry. Baby Ariel doesn't need her left leg to get into heaven. All she needs is a good soul. A good soul? Mm -hmm. Not everyone has one of those. Do they? Yeah, I'm gonna go home. You were right. I should not have come in the first place. Maybe I can see the fireworks from the landing. Okay, I'll drive you. No, no, no. Don't worry. Stay here. I'm fine. What about the baby? Patrick, I'm fine. I, I promise I'm eternal. I will not let anything happen to our baby. I certainly won't catch it on fire. Happy Fourth. When the real fireworks go off, that means baby Ariel's in heaven. With my mommy. Yeah, with mommy. Wow. <laughs> Mac, look how the fireworks make my engagement ring spark. I'd rather look at the way they make your eyes sparkle. Wow. I was right, baby. Isn't it beautiful? One of the most beautiful things I've seen. How loud is the grand finale going to be? Is it going to be scary? No, it's not going to be scary. Everything is going to be fun. Because we're all together, okay? 